Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm continuing my series of my favorite films of the 1970s. And I want to say thanks for so many comments and feedback on these films. Um, I'm just picking films that come to mind next. Um, and again, um, right now anyway, I'm avoiding some of the more popular films of the 70s like Jaws and Close Encounters and uh, you know, The Godfather, things like that. But I probably will talk about those at some point. Again, I'm trying to pick, there's so many great films from the 70s, and so I'm trying to pick some that maybe uh, are not talked about that often. And the next one that came to mind after Vanishing Point is uh, this uh, f film from Steven Spielberg called The Sugarland Express. And I'm sure this is one of the first films I saw of Spielberg's uh, outside of Duel, which was on TV, and I may talk about that one as well and Jaws, of course, from 1975. So this movie is from, uh, I, I was, I was, it's hard to find the date down here, by the way, because it's usually listed down here, uh, but it's from 1974 and starring uh, Goldie Hawn and Ben Johnson, Michael Sachs, William Atherton, uh, music by John Williams also. So this, again, begins some of the collaboration with John Williams, who uh, scored many of Spielberg's movies. I love Spielberg uh, also, by the way, and I did a whole collection video on all the films I have of his, and it was just his birthday, I think, the last couple days, too, as of the recording of this video. Uh, but there's the back of that one. Also, this is a Blu-ray, and I did look on Amazon with some of these videos. I'll, I will also tell you, at least as of the making of the video, if the film is still available. And this one Looks like it's still available for about $10. Uh, so I thought that was a great price for the Blu-ray. So not a special edition, no special features on this, but as I've done with the other videos, I'm just gonna read the back description too. And again, I hope these, I'm trying not to spoil these movies if you haven't seen them. So I, I'm only gonna talk sort of in general about the films. Um, and uh, the, let me just read this. The Sugarland Express, a gripping drama co-written and directed by a 26 year old Steven Spielberg makes its mark as the director's first theatrical film debut. Again, as I mentioned, Duel was on television, so this is his first theatrical film debut, which was, which was an amazing one. Based on a true story, a desperate mother, Gold, Goldie Hawn, attempts to reunite her family by any means necessary, including helping her husband escape prison, kidnapping a Texas state trooper, and leading the police on a wild chase across the state in an effort to save her son from adoption, winning the hearts of many fans that followed her story on the news. This film conveys the true story of a girl who took on all of Texas and almost won. I love this movie. I think probably Vanishing Point uh, reminded me this is another great car chase type movie. Again, maybe a slow car chase in some uh, sense, but more police cars than I think I've seen in any movie other than maybe the Blues Brothers. But let me know if you've seen a movie with a lot of police cars involved, but there's just a uh, just a, a ton of them. Um, and, uh, you know, I loved it. It was really, really an amazing film. And again, has a lot of the same elements that um, that um, were in, you know, that I mentioned in some of the other videos too, where we have the long take. I love the close-ups also in the 70s movies. I just love close-ups in general. It really gives you an insight into the way the, the, the character, the actor is feeling. And there's so many great shots with uh, Goldie Hawn and William Atherton who plays Clovis, I believe, in this movie. And uh, really, really creatively well done. So many amazing shots, too, iconic shots, I think. It, it, you know, this movie came out before Jaws, but it certainly reminds me of Jaws because I think Steven Spielberg used a lot of the same techniques. There's a scene where a couple of um, police cars go off into the distance, and uh, I you know, was really taken by that scene. It just, feel, it just felt like, even though these two police cars were driving off into the sunset, it felt like they were in boats for whatever reason, maybe just the way the camera was moving or something like that. There's so many great scenes also through the rear view mirror and uh, facing um, the, like the front of the police car, the top of the police cars, all those great, uh, you know, techniques that you see later in Spielberg films. Um, I'm reminded also of, uh, you know, as I mentioned in the description here, Goldie Hawn and uh, Clovis, uh, I'm using the character names interchangeably with the actors' names here, but um, kidnap a state trooper. And so there's one scene where the police captain is following the state trooper 
uh, in the car with these two characters, and he's sort of looking at Goldie Hawn. I just love that. I love that scene. Uh, just an amazing scene. If you if you've seen the movie, of uh, just the uh, poignancy of the situation that they're in. The other rec- the other scene that I recall. There's so many great scenes, but the other scene I recall is uh, a, a scene of um, a. Uh, there's a sunset uh, at the end of the at the end of the close to the end of the movie, and uh, that I really enjoyed too. And there's also a sunrise scene where uh, you have some vigilantes that start to go after the main characters in the film and try to stop this whole situation from happening. And the one character I don't I don't believe the character is named in this, or at least I can't remember it right now, but. Uh, they pull up a garage door and the sun is coming up. And I every time I see that film, I think this must have been one or two takes because the sun doesn't really move. And so they must have had to do it very quickly before the sun moved too far up in the sky. And so I thought that was a really interesting um, scene itself where the car is kind of backing out of the garage. You see the sun, you see the sun rising. Uh, so many great um, uh, landscapes in this movie as well. Uh, and I noticed also that the cinematographer was the same cinematographer that did Scarecrow, too. Uh, and so I thought that was interesting that Spielberg decided to use that same cinematographer. So, again, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing more of these connections the more I'm watching these movies from the 70s. I did also want to say, too, as much as it's a story about this couple that's fleeing the police, um, I really enjoyed the, um, the performance from... Ben Johnson, who plays the police captain in this movie, and he's been in many, many movies, uh, and including, I think, The Wild Bunch and uh, some other films that I can't recall right now, but I thought he was amazing. I thought his story as the police captain was amazing. They get him involved early on in the movie, and he, he, he talks about at one point in the movie that he hasn't really uh, seen any murders, I don't think, in his whole career, in his whole 18-year career, so he, he has a part in the story as well, and I think he has some compassion for this, for this couple that's fleeing, trying to you know, get to their child. And uh, so I really, I really found that part of the story very interesting, uh, just looking at things from his point of view and how he handles the situation very calmly and has to make some tough decisions along the way. But I thought he, his performance is just amazing. He's a, he's, a great, he's a great actor for sure. He was also in The Last Picture Show as well. That's the other one that I was trying to remember there. So um, I love this movie. Great movie. Highly recommend it. Uh, I've seen it many, many times, but this latest rewatch, I've I've enjoyed it even more. Again, I love seeing, uh, I love watching police dramas. So if you have a favorite police drama that you like, please leave me a comment below. I'm going to be featuring many more of these because there were quite a few police dramas in the 70s, and I'm sure I was watching most of them. Uh, but highly recommend this movie. Goldie Hawn is amazing also. Uh, just really gives a stellar performance in the film. And so this is, again, one of my top favorites from the 70s. So uh, thanks so much for watching this video. If you like to recommend a 70s film, uh, f- feel free to do that in the comments below. Uh, I know a lot of uh, folks have been recommending uh, films, and I am adding those to a list, and hopefully I'll get to them. This may be a long series of videos. Uh, the 70s had so many great films, at least for me anyway, and I'm really enjoying uh, this process of going through these films in this way. I don't think I've ever done this before. So, uh, But I really appreciate all the comments and questions. Uh, so if you like this video, click on like, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. I sincerely hope that everyone is safe and well, and I'll talk to you soon.